Hi, good morning and welcome back to another video about the virtual robotics toolkit. So uh, today's video we want to show I want to show you how um, we can utilize the virtual robotics toolkit and just a quick overview of what is it. So we're gonna try to keep ourselves in five minutes uh, video and uh, let's have a quick look at what it can do. So I'm gonna go and open my virtual robotics toolkit from here. I'm clicking over here. And as you can see, the, the moment I click on the virtual robotics toolkit, it's gonna start to you know switch on. And it's a little bit of a heavy engine. So if you have a bit of a slow computer, it'll take some time to load up. So don't worry about that. Um, and uh, just like let it let it start on some. So as you can see, if I open the virtual robotics toolkit along with that my lego mindstorms ev3 software also opens up and as you might have already uh, seen in the guide or in the previous videos that you're supposed to uh, install the virtual robotics toolkit and the mindstorm software together to be able to utilize this thing now if you look at the screen you have got um on this side you have got um, uh, the lms part it's basically what it means is that um if you have um, some lesson plans um, through some you know some LMS system you can view it over here which uh, most of us are not gonna have it so this is not important for us and this is my virtual robotics toolkit so if I go over here <coughs> I can click at the VRT option so I can just show my screen to be the VRT screen which is the virtual robotics toolkit screen so the moment I click on this I have got my complete VRT screen um, and also at the same time I've got my EV3 screen over here so we will understand the re reason for that later on so um, once I have the VRT screen with me I have got with me um, the the different menus over here so if I go over here sim basics so this is like simulation basics so they've got over here different simulation that you can do with programming EV3 uh, which is like sandbox apart and cleanup maze sumo wrestling cleanup challenges these are all pretty super cool uh, and engaging uh, activities that you can do again this you can do it yourself or you know there are multiplayer like for example the sumo is multiplayer over here and we've got soccer which is a multiplayer over here so this can be multiplayer option you also have competitions uh, like first lego league uh, so the most recent first lego league was city shaper uh, into orbit hydrodynamics so all the uh, the last four years of the FLL's first Lego League competitions uh, mats over here you also have WRO so this coming WRO 2020 WRO is also over here which is amazing about it and it can it can allow you to take part in the virtual WRO which happens um, often and again you also have the previous year's WRO we're gonna start with the basic um, uh, simulation so that um, um, we can uh, understand how it works. If I go to Sandbox over here, which is the most easiest thing, it's going to tell me that this is my project name, Sandbox. I can write over here, uh, Sandbox, uh, let's say Shahab uh, Project, and I can click on OK. And the moment I press OK, I have the virtual uh, environment loading in. So again, it's a bit of a heavy software. So it sometimes takes some time to load in and uh, it's going to be a great way to showcase what's happening. So if you can see over here, I've got my, um, I've got this uh, EV3 brick, I've got the EV3 with me and I've got a simulation over here. And if I press play just for fun, uh, I can start a simulation without programming and I can press W to go forward and right left so I can start just by and that's pretty much it um, we're gonna make another video in which uh, we will try to um, understand the programming behind it and we'll try to go through all the different uh, scenarios so thank you so much for watching have a good time and adios